Hey there. Um, so this tutorial is going to show you some kind of different behaviors you can add to your um, your bots, your enemies. So two behaviors I have. I have a random ghost that changes direction that's unpredictable. And I also have a random bat. And I also have a, a ghost that um, he goes back and forth. He paces back and forth. But once my player sprite gets past a certain point, he will start being chased, right? So you know, we have a patrolling guard going back and forth. And then once I pass a certain point, this ghost will start to, to chase me around, OK? Um, I turned off collisions right now, so that's why you see me not getting hurt. But this, uh, this bat also has a random generator on here. So it's going to fly around in a random position, OK? And we can also notice is um, the bat is flapping its wings. And as it changes directions, it knows which way to, to, to face. Same thing for a ghost. So if our, um, if our ghost changes direction as a follow us, it also changes its position too. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do that as well, okay? Um, so again, let me show you real quick, refresh this. As I move around, this ghost goes back and forth. This bat is random, it doesn't know where I am, just kind of random, it goes around. But once I pass a certain point, this ghost then, then, then gets you know, aggro towards me and chases me down. Uh, if I had collisions on it, it would hurt me. So what we're going to see is, um, let me set it up here. What you're going to do is make sure you have your sprite connected and your bad guys. Um, so everything in the setup is all, all kind of kind of boilerplate. All the usual stuff is the same, right? Still set up your enemies. Uh, I have my sprites setting up on a different locations. Um, give your sprites different names. First, let me show you maybe the easier one. Um, the easiest one to get your enemy moving around is this on game update. So what this means is on game update, every uh, one second, we're going to change the velocity of our sprite randomly in these, these numbers here. So let me explain this a little more here. So what I did was I went to game, on game update, and this, like, it does it every 500 milliseconds. This would be every second here. Um, and what we're going to do is we go to sprites and we're going to set their velocity. So usually when you do this, you make their um, velocity. I'm, I'm going to pause this so it doesn't run this code because it's going to create kind of a glitch while I'm talking about it. So set my sprite velocity. So you can see that my guy started moving. It sets their velocity to a certain direction, certain speed, uh, and just has them go. But what we're going to do is we want them to randomly do that each time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, math, okay, and pick a random number. All right, so we put, put random numbers here. Pick random number. Let's go to math and pick random number again here. Okay, and what I did was um, you need to choose negative numbers and positive numbers. So negative numbers, as far as the y values are con are concerned, so positive numbers will make your character go down. Negative numbers will make them go up. So for example, if I just do from zero to, um, and let me just get rid of this here. If I just do zero to 70, if I just do zero to 70 here, um, my character will go just down at different speeds. And then if I just do zero to 50, my character will just go right at certain speeds at, at randomly different, different speeds. So let me play this here. And you'll see that my character will just go down and to the right down to the right until eventually they get stuck in the corner there. See that there? Um, so we need to add negative numbers. And I randomly landed on these numbers here. Um, I played with it a few times and see how it worked. Um, so now I do negative 70, negative 50. And where's my bat? So there he is. He's kind of every second, if you count in your head, he randomly changes his position each time, back and forth, back and forth. So the next thing I want to show you is um, the animations. Or actually, let's do the behavior where this guy follows you. So let me show you where that is here. Um, so, <laughs> so to set this up, we also use another game update. And we use this logic here. So it says, if the sprite, the sprite 2 is this the enemy, if the ghost is touching the wall to the left, then do this. You're going to change that sprite velocity by 50. Okay? Um, and then else if, so something else is happening, if you hit, if the ghost hits the wall to the right, 
then change the velocity negative number. So this is a positive number goes to right, negative number goes, goes down. Um, but let's say I wanted an enemy going back and forth. Let me just show you how to do this really quickly. So on game update, okay. And I'm gonna go to logic where I found this thing. If, and we have two things. If you have multiple things, like say you have like, you want to carry if they go up and down and change directions, we can do that too. But we just have two variables to change right now. We go to scene and then we go to um, the sprite. Okay. So this is called my sprite two, the ghost, my ghost guy is called my sprite two. Um, if he's hitting, and we're gonna do him spawning up and down here, or another guy going up and down. Um, so actually, let me create a whole another sprite that will do that. Let me make another sprite. I'm gonna duplicate this, duplicate, and we're gonna make two sprites. Uh, we're gonna rename this. Um, Second ghost. Okay, he's a kind of enemy. We can keep him the same. That's fine. Uh, but we're going to call him second ghost. All right. So now what we're going to do is um, set his spawn location really quickly. Um, place him, my second ghost. And I'm going to look at my tile map. Where is my tile map? Here it is. Tile map, I want him to spawn right here. If I look in the bottom left corner, um, it is 811 and he's gonna go down. Okay, so 811 is his spawn location for my second ghost. Eight, tab 11. All right, so now if my sprite, um, and I actually have to put him in motion first too. I'm gonna duplicate this. So this command here sets your, um, your ghost in motion first. So I need him to go down, which is gonna be a positive number. Let's make that 50. So that's, he's gonna go down now 50. So when he's um, it's spawned in, he's gonna go down. So make sure those, those, those match. So I start here, you see him go down. Once it's that wall, he doesn't do anything. So I need to set some logic up, okay? Um, just remember when you're doing this, you have to set your, your velocity first. So get them going in direction and then they can start using this logic that will take over. Okay, so um, if my sprite is hitting the wall to the bottom, so that's kind of the first thing he does. If he hits the bottom, then I want to change his uh, velocity. I want to change his velocity of y um, by negative 50. I think it was 50 before by negative 50. And negative numbers go up. Okay. Now I'm gonna make sure it's my second ghost. If my second ghost, don't forget that. That's a big thing. I always, always, always forget this. So make sure you don't forget to change variables. I'm gonna duplicate this too. And now if my second ghost is hitting the wall on the top, um, I want him to go positive down. So 50. It's kind of counterintuitive. But remember that this top left corner of your game is zero, zero. As you go down, that's positive Y. And as you go to the right, that's positive X, okay? So now you can see, look, there's my ghost going up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? Up and down, up and down. All right, so now what we're going to do is, how does this guy follow us? So right now, this ghost won't follow us once I pass him. It's getting it by him. There, I got by him. Once I pass this, it's only this ghost that's chasing me. So let me show you how I set that up. So what you're gonna do is I use this one. On sprite kind of player overlaps this location on the map. I set my sprite, I set, I did this, this follow command here. So I kind of did a little sneaky on them. I hid these tile maps right here. Um, you can be more sneaky than me and pick like maybe these cracked ones, maybe like a trap type thing, right? So once they pass it, once the, the player goes anywhere over it, they start to get chased. Um, and it's kind of like a new world Sometimes when you do new world, you do this thing. But this can also trigger like traps or it can like give them items if they go over it and they get a special item or something. So on sprite player, so when that's me, when I overlap those little things, set my sprite to follow me, okay? So once I pass it, this guy will follow me, okay? So now let me do it for my, um, let me just do it from the beginning here. Let me do it for my other ghost. So let's say I set a trap up. And once I step on these cracked ones, maybe that's when I can have my ghost follow me. So 
um, on Sprite, my player, overlapped. I'm going to find the cracked ones. Here's the cracked one. Go to Sprites. Click on the set my enemy to follow my Sprite. And this one's called my second ghost. And follow my Sprite. That's fine. All right. So now it's kind of like a trap. Oh, once I passed it, see, once I passed it, that ghost started following me. And he was super fast. I might have to make him slower. So click this plus sign and make him a little bit slower. I think 50 is a good speed for ghost. It's not too slow where they uh, are too slow, but not too fast where it's game over. So even if I just like this one up here, he will start chasing me. There he goes. Right. Um, okay. The last behavior is these animations. How do we get these ghosts to look a direction and follow us? Okay. Another on game update. I've been experimenting a lot with this on, on game updates. So what's going to happen is um, let's do this one. This one's the easiest one. So you're going to do the same logic. Okay. And um, so if my sprite the velocity is greater than one, you're gonna animate the sprite to do this. If, else if, the sprite, the ghost, their velocity is less than negative one, then do this. Now this took me uh, some time to kind of cipher and figure out, but basically what they're saying is, what I'm saying is, uh, if you detect this ghost going this direction and their velocity is greater than whatever, right? So if my velocity, as I'm going this way, it's greater than one, change it to that animation because that means he's going that direction. Um, it's kind of hard to visualize this kind of math in your head, but let's let's just, just try to do it anyway. So if the ghost velocity x, so the x is the right direction. So if that's greater than one. So when I go to the right, let um, me open up a, a uh, new page here. So as I go to the right, get rid of that. As we go to the right, those are positive numbers, right? And that will be a positive one. If we go to the left, that's a negative one. And any numbers this way, as you accelerate, are going to be negative numbers. Okay. Same thing for down direction. If I go down, that's going to be positive numbers. If I go up, those are going to be negative numbers. Okay. So I'm saying that if, since I don't want to worry about going left or right, if you detect him at a speed greater than one, that means he's going to right. If you detect him at a speed of negative or higher, like negative five, negative 10, he's going that way, change his animations to this. Okay, so let's animate this ghost here. So once I pass him, he will start, he will start doing it. I'm gonna duplicate that. No, I don't want to duplicate the whole thing. So I'm sure I do it. All right, game update. And now we're gonna have this guy follow us. So we want to do our logic again. Get these two, because we have two directions. You technically could do maybe three. Um, you could detect them going very fast, going down. You can do like a down animation. But I think right and left looks fine for traveling left and right. Um, so now we're gonna use the logic and the comparison. Put that right here. Okay, I'm just gonna add this at the same time. Okay, next thing is we're gonna put our variable, um, our velocity variable thing. So it's this right here, my sprite. Their sprite, it's gonna it's detecting this, this thing here. So we're gonna put that here. And um, our ghost is called my second ghost, right? So it says if the second ghost, and we're gonna do their velocity, which is their speed, if their velocity in this case would be y, okay? If their velocity, Actually, no, we're going left and right too. We're going to repeat the same thing. If their velocity of x is greater than one, right? If they have numbers bigger than one, it means they're going to the right. So I want my animation to be a ghost looking to the right. Animation, animate, um, second ghost, frames, go to gallery. And then you can pick a, either, you can pick a single frame of a ghost looking to the right, or you can pick the one where there's different ghosts like moving, attack right, that's a moving right. So let's do, let's see what this one looks like. 
just to make it look cool. So I'm attacking right there. So now when the second ghost, when he's going to the right, and we're gonna loop that, when he's going to the right, he's gonna do that. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this for the next one. Duplicate for the next one. Can I get rid of you for now? Put this here. All right, and now if it is less than negative one, that means he's going the opposite direction. So now I need to um, mirror him. I'm gonna flip this. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Here we go. I'm gonna flip this one. There we go. All right. Um, all right, let's find out if I did this right. Okay, so up and down. Once he changes direction, he should follow me. He, oh, I got game triggered. There we go. There he goes. He is following me now. In each direction I change, right? So now his, his velocity x is positive number. Now it's a negative number. Positive number, negative number. All right, so that's how to animate and that's how to do different um, behaviors with your AI.